And I'm gonna, okay. It's like, all right. All right, we have made it. Lightning in a bottle, our first like talk show type type uh, show. We we're in front of a very fancy RV pointed or painted by, I mean, like a, a legend in our community, Hans Whaler. Hans Whaler. Check out his stuff because he he does RVs and all sorts of other things. But today we have really exciting news. We have a very special guest. Now, this person grew up in LA and you will not find any festival that with more of a core person behind it. Like, we'll, we'll just bring him out. Pumpkin, come on out. Welcome to the show, buddy. Hey, Tucker, how are you doing? So good, thank you, thank you for coming. Oh, so, we've made it. You, you got through your set and that was magic. Yeah, how did you feel about the set? Uh, it was a big change from the Woogie stage. Yeah, Let me main you, stage. Um, yeah, the lightning stage, uh, it was a little intimidating at first, to be honest. You know, I'm, uh, I'm not a big guy. And yeah. It's a very big stage. Yeah. And there were an awful lot of people there. This you is, know? Uh, this is a festival that I feel like I get really spoiled at. Dude. You know? and, uh, Pumpkin yeah. shows, like, historically, ever since my first uh, lightning in a bottle, I, when I found out about you, I was just like, what is happening? Everyone's here, and it's just like this magic experience, and then everyone came back the next year, and now this festival keeps getting bigger, and your time slot kept getting moved, moved forward, and now it was like, uh, what was it, 3 o'clock on, on Friday, something like that? Yeah, 3.30 on 3.30 Friday. on Friday. It was like, everyone is finally here, Pumpkin is on, lightning in a bottle has started, and it was so magical, yeah, really, really you. good, yeah. I, um... Yeah, like I said, it was it was definitely intimidating at first. Yeah. Uh, once, uh, but once into the groove, I feel like I I don't really do any of the work. Yeah. You know. Totally. I'm just feeding off the family. And, uh, A lot of smiles pointed at you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was seriously. backstage watching. I was like, this is hilarious. Yeah. Like this yeah. should be like a like a, a dentist or a toothpaste commercial out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of sparkles. And uh, I I had a a question from a friend. Uh, it was. How do you make such sick beats? Oh, wow. Well, that's a very, that, that's a rather sweet question, actually. Yeah. Because I, I actually don't make all that much music. Right. You know? How do you bring it all together? How do you? Um, uh, well, I mean, as far as the making sick beats, that, I think, is just inspiration when yeah. it strikes, you know? And it's also the, the ears that the music is, is falling on. Yeah. Um, because we all like different stuff. Right. And... The stuff that I remix tends to be nostalgic, so if you're the kind of person that likes to reminisce, right. then, you know, my ba musical problem Basically, if you don't like pumpkin set, there's something horribly wrong with you, because you're basically saying like, hi, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't like <laughs> any kind of music. <laughs> like, wow, okay. Well, fair enough. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I, I definitely tend to have a lot of fun and yeah. not take myself too seriously. Totally. And so, if you're someone that, that uh, insists on music being a serious thing, then... Yeah probably wouldn't be for you. And you have actually a super important part in my life personally. At my first Shambhala in 2013, I had just gotten like my media pass and you had just started and I was I was behind you looking out on Shambhala. It was like my first Shambhala experience. And I was wearing my tiger coat, uh -huh, obviously. And uh, this super cute girl in cat ears comes running up and she goes, oh my God, I love your jacket. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So she's with leopard pants, I love your pants. Uh, she's like, uh, I'm I'm uh, Cora, and I go I'm Tucker, your new best friend. Uh -huh. It ends up being Betty and Cora, who's all of our best friend now, and yep, I, I became great friends with these these girls at this festival. They have their own blog, BettyandCora.com, and after that, I spent the next I I was like, hey, you guys are awesome. Can I come to Vancouver with you before Burning Man? Yes. So that was two weeks in Vancouver, and then I was like, oh my God, you have to come to Burning Man. So it was basically, and they did. Yep. So it was basically like, hi, I'm Tucker. Uh, let's spend the next 27 straight days together. It was <laughs> kind of amazing. It all happened at your set. Yep. So oh, yeah. So so what what's new? What 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 are your new projects? Uh, I'm I'm working on original music. Yep. Uh, finally. Cool. Um, which has been a long time coming. Yeah. I feel like you know I've really just been known for remixing tracks and uh, I. I have, you know, I have a lot to express, and yeah. so I'm really excited about that. Awesome. You know, collaborating with uh, some vocalists, and um, hope to have that wrapped up pretty soon. Awesome. You know, an EP of original material. Um, 
I also uh, I have a side project that I it's been going on for a while, but yeah. we're starting to pick up a, a lot of steam uh, with a, a good friend of mine, Evan. Yes, uh, who I've, uh, also known as Every Man. Uh, Actually, rocking his shirt, right his shirt, and we have a special announcement. Come on out, Every Man! Oh, Look at this. Making magic happen right here at Lightning in a Bottle. Yeah, Hi, buddy. How are you? Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks so good to see you. Me. Your set yesterday was unbelievable. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. It was like the, the best day of my life thus far. Uh, you could see it literally watching on stage. I was like, yes, this is so good. I, so many people were there. It's like, you know, one o'clock on a Saturday. Very impressive. Yeah, <laughs> so absolutely it was, it. yeah. That so, means a lot coming from you, especially. Yeah. 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 Thank you. This man um, has been, besides my best friend yeah. since I moved to Los Angeles, um, the most supportive and um, amazing man as far as my creative side goes. He really has pushed me to be a performer and be myself and express myself and has made beautiful beats for me to rap over and we've written amazing raps together and we have fun. Uh, when we started, we said we're, we're just two kids having fun together. Absolutely. And and we're both still really kids at heart, um, and it's amazing when you can see that child side of yourself again, and especially at a place like this. I feel like it's a it's a playground for adults. Sure. You know, oh, absolutely. It's a beautiful place where you can learn a lot too, but it also encourages you to play yeah. and to be yourself and be free. And that's what I felt for the first time when I saw you play on the Woogie four years ago, and you played No Rain, and I just started. Balling. I was with Jacopo and Sarah, our friend Smash the Funk, an yeah. amazing videographer, and, yeah. his, and his lovely lady. And um, I just started bawling, dancing, and I went backstage, and I walked up to Nick, and I said, um, one of his best friends, our friend Crystal, too, who actually designed the shirt, said, you have to be friends with Nick. You, you guys will be best friends, I promise you. No and way. people have, you know, people yeah, say yeah, you yeah. gotta be friends. It doesn't always work. Yeah. But we clicked instantly, and I looked yeah, into yeah. his eyes after that set at, at the Woogie, and I said, dude, I don't know what it is about you. And it's what everyone says to him. And that's the beautiful thing about him is that yeah. people say, and he hears it over and over. And, and it's hard to take compliments, sure. you know? But he, he, he's, he's getting better at it. He's, Cause he's really <laughs> humble and really shy. But, yeah, I don't but, have an easy time with that. Yeah. He, um, he said, what's your, what's your performer name? And I said, uh, goes, I go by every man. He goes, oh, I thought it was going to be, be something funny because he knew that I did stand up and yeah, comedy yeah. and stuff like that before. He goes, that's actually a, a cool name. And I go, dude, I would really love to do something with you sometime. And he yeah. goes, okay. And then his friend recommended that he do a remix of the Nappy Root song, Good Day. Yeah. So he approached me and said, why don't you write, why don't you write um, a version so of this song, a happy, but about love and about how everyone can have a good day and, and it's going to be this beautiful day and we have the power to make our lives better. And I wrote it, my mom passed away when I was 14 and, and I wrote the song on her birthday in an hour and it was, I really feel truly that it was given to me from her and from the wow. universe. And, 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 and it was that power energy speaking through me because I wrote it in an hour and it, we made very few edits, yeah. very few, like Crazy. just words, just sure. certain words, just kind of but out, no, yeah. no lines, no real rhyme changes. Wow. And never in my life have I experienced writing like that. And it, and it was so powerful. And that day that I got to perform that with you, uh, four, four, three years ago now on the Woogie, that was the best day of my life up until that point. And I, I said, I don't know how I'm gonna top this. And then yesterday being there, with you behind me and seeing game. you play on the main stage yeah. and just seeing how things evolve and transform. It yeah. was it was such a beautiful, just a beautiful life cycle thing. So yeah. I love you so much and thank you for you. being there for me and, and making art with me because it's truly uh, the most amazing gift I could ever have asked for. It's what I've asked for. And I believe that we have the power to manifest anything we want in our lives, good or bad. So we need to be careful because if we say all the time that we can't have something, then we, then we won't ever have it. So if we say that we want something and we really try hard to do it and we try with all our heart, somehow that will happen. Maybe not the exact form that we sure. set out for, but it will. Because I set out to be an actor and do film yep. and now I'm here rapping with you at music festivals and I love yeah. my life, you know? And I love you. And I love thank you. Really you. So you this here. place is special and it, all these places are, but for our relationship especially and I, so many people who are at Lightning in a Bottle, it's just like, 
Magic. This show stuff is so easy. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Thank one you. for one. I wanted, to, <laughs> I, I wanted to say that to you last night, but I was like, I, I wanted to say that to him last night, but I was so like, I, yeah. I, I didn't know how to phrase it. Yeah. And I, so. No, it's you. awesome. This is thanks for letting me be a part of this. Yeah. I love you. You're the. Yeah. This man gets around everywhere, and he is the most humble, beautiful, loving man, and he truly supports artists. And uh, yeah, thank you. Cool. Festival thank you, festival guy. guy. Tucker is the man. Thanks. Well, yeah. guys, this was. This was awesome. Yeah, I, I so really fun. like, and the, the thing that I like to look back on that I want to share with you guys because you're in the same days. You know how hard you've been working and all the sacrifices you've made? We're still in the good old days. Yeah. yeah. How no funny doubt. is that? No doubt. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. So here we are in our, these aren't even our chairs. Nope. 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 <laughs> Thanks. That's not our RV. Thanks, neighbors. That's not our RV. Not our RV. Fair, that is not ours. No. We were just set up on this on a, tent right there. Yeah, we were set up on a, a mountain leave it better than we found it. Yes. Yeah, we will. Yep. Yes, just leave it better. Yep. Leave it beautiful. Yeah. Love yeah. each other. Totally. Dance. Make sure you dance. Make sure to Thank dance. Thank you so much for this. Time. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, guys. Oh. Nice. Group hug. Awesome. Thank you to the Z Lab too. Yeah. Z Lab. Crazy. So um, that was our first uh, interview from the side of an RV. First of many, it I hope, and uh, go team. Pretty stoked on that. <laughs>